how to pass uh, uh, parameter during the runtime. Okay, so for suppose uh, you have a data that's coming from uh, an enterprise. Okay, so it has a centralized server located in some uh, uh, some country where the main headquarters of the business operations are. So they have branches across the globe. Also, let's uh, imagine they have branches in India, Pakistan, USA, okay, and the UK. Okay, so and Asia and uh, New Jersey, and in, in India we have Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Chennai. Okay, so now I need to separate the data uh, based on the uh, branch wise. Okay, now let's uh, let's simplify this. So instead of uh, giving the continent so Pakistan, okay, so Bangalore. We have branches in Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Chennai, and New York. Okay, and Fiji, uh, Egypt. So if you want to separate the data, so we need to, I mean, what are the list of countries, uh, the business operations are there. So if you want to separate the data on country wise, okay, so uh, branches wise, okay. So Egypt and uh, can you give any name uh, related to Pakistan? You can give Delhi, Delhi, okay. And, uh, any other city name? Delhi. And we have Islamabad. So these are the countries that uh, business operations the company has. Okay, so now I need to separate the data. How we will separate the data? So we can separate the data based on the list of countries that we have, and that has to be passes, uh, passed in a listed loop. Okay, so here I am considering the listed loop here. Listed loop, consider the listed loop and provide the uh, wherever the branches are there. Okay, Bangalore, Egypt, Chennai, Bangalore, uh, Hyderabad, Chennai, New York, Egypt, Delhi, and Islamabad. Okay. With the help of listed loop. And in the job, what we need to do is, we need to, so this is the job, like uh, where uh, this is the, data. imagine this is a database where data is, uh, that will be received. Okay. And uh, we need to pass it to, I mean, we need to separate the data based on the branch wise. Okay. So that is the reason here I have uh, parameterized. Okay, so I have called as a runtime parameter, city, and that has been appended here. Okay. Now compile this. If, any, if you do any modification, no, we have to compile the job. So this parameter we have added here, okay? Now I need to separate the data, okay? So close this. And here we have added the list of countries in the listed loop, okay? Once you added that and you have passed the looping variables here, with the help of a listed loop, and uh, we have assigning this parameter, insert parameter. So what are the uh, listed variables that you have defined that will be passed uh, every iteration. So with that uh, data will be separated. Okay. Now save, compile and run the job. 
Here you can see from starting from Bangalore. These are world records. Yeah, they have got completed. Okay. So let me run it again so that we have clarity so that how the data will be separated now we will see. You can see here. So based on uh, the list that you have provided, it is running accordingly. Okay. Egypt, Delhi. Another example you can consider, suppose a company has employee data. So they want to separate the uh, data of a file uh, based on the designation. Okay. So we will do the text size now. How to separate the data during the runtime. So we cannot uh, create multiple filter conditions and uh, multiple files. Okay, so in a job. Okay, so with a single, single standalone job, how to pass it uh, during the runtime. I mean, like uh, based on the designation is how to separate the data from a, a main file and uh, separate the data based on the designation wise. Okay, so we'll see that. So we have here uh, the employee data, right? In the EMP table, select star from EMP. This is our data. So what we can do is select distinct, distinct job from EMP. So these are the list of jobs. Okay. List of designation. So we need to separate the data based on the designation wise. So I will take an example of uh, any job. Okay, like uh, one, two, so I will use this job, okay, to read the data, okay, then I need to Take a fresh job, okay. Now I will use filter condition. Filter condition, go to passing stage, apply the filter condition here. And the target. I'll use this file. Okay. So now I will pass the runtime job title. What happened?
So here I'm not entering any default value. So these values will be picked from a listed loop condition. Okay. So that will separate the data. So here in the filter condition in a where class job is equal to. So we have the input right designation. So job is equal to that has to be parameterized. Okay. So you can job equals to you have to provide in quotes actually. Okay, so it's a job, right? It's a string, right? So that is the reason. So title. That's it. Okay. So now let's see this. That's it. Okay. So every time we will be passed during the runtime. Okay. So now what we can do? Drag and drop input output. Here also to separate the data, here we have to provide the file names with the designation. Okay. So go to uh, target folder. So give any name. Okay, so job. Job.txt. Data.txt. Okay. Click on save. So here you have to provide the designation parameter also, right? Inside that. So job with underscore data that will come as the output, okay? So here I will use pipe delimiter, double quotes, none. So here I will handle down field values, columns, click on OK. OK, so now save this job. Now, if we go to the target folder and delete all the files here, click on save. Now, we will save this job. So here you have to provide the job that we have defined just now. Okay, so that is uh, this the one. Click on open. And here you have to insert parameter. So that has coming from the listed loop condition. Okay, so these are the list of uh, jobs that are, uh, I mean, these are the list of designations. So that you have to provide here. Just you have to provide comma for each designation, okay?
And here you have to provide the list here. Okay. So now click on OK. Now save, compile, and run the job. So here in the destination, I have deleted all the this thing. So here, uh, employee wise, now data will be separated. So that is the purpose of this list. And we are passing the runtime parameter uh, during the uh, runtime. We are passing a parameter uh, during the runtime. So here we have not defined the parameter, right? So default value is not defined. So default value is not defined here. It is picking from the uh, listed loop condition. Okay. So let me close this. So here, let me rename the job. How we can see. So it will uh, split the data. So how many records are there? Total six uh, iterations are there. So that is the reason it is considering iteration one. First job started running. You can see the file here. What is the first one? So first one is clerk. Clerk will come here. Data with clerk. So we'll check here also. You can see here now, clerk, the clerk data. So all the job designations are clerk and salesman data, all are salesman. So like that, we can pass the uh, values during the runtime. Only president, one, one record is there, right? And MGR, only one record. Okay, so like that we can separate the data by using this listed loop by passing the parameter during the runtime. Okay, so on a list, two on lists are there. Okay, so that is the purpose of this listed loop. Okay, so we are passing the parameter during the runtime. Okay. <laughs> So any questions here? All good, okay, fine, fine, thank you.